What it do, what it do, fair fat boy in the building. This video is going up today. I'm mad I can't add the audio and put the audio on. I can't put the audio up. I'm, I'm very mad right now. Um, Check this out. I've been a manager, manager position, doing a manager work. I ain't got the title officially yet. I don't even want it no more. I don't even want it. Mm -hmm. I don't even want it. I realized it was a it was a dumb mistake. I get why, especially black men don't do management. I get it. I've been at jobs for the last twenty two years of my life, and it's always like you always got one or two black men that's been at the job, and it's like, dang, I don't understand. Uh, I don't understand why Carl. Uh, Tyrone, uh, you pick a name, a black name. I don't understand why they don't want to be managers. Why they don't want to step a supervisor. Why they don't want to be in the lease row. I, I don't get it. Shouts out to Bobby and Howard. <laughs> Howard favorite. Shouts out to y'all. I think I did this in another video. I don't know. I posted it. I'm posting this again. I'm posting this because this is going up today. I had to cuss out my coworker yesterday. And I didn't feel bad about it. I didn't know that. It took, I just told her, shut the fuck up, do your job. I don't give a fuck no more. Because you complain too much. All you want to do is complain. Now, mind you, she's a clerk. Clerk. Okay? Supposed to be my clerk. She's supposed to be doing the little things I don't do. And when she leaves, I do them to fill up to help the, the next shift out, right? The day before yesterday, she got an email. Monday, she got an email. I got an email. Everybody got an email about we caught it. We have to coddle our drivers. One another one thing about my job, I don't like. We have to coddle certain employees. They don't want nobody wants to do their job. It doesn't matter the race, doesn't matter the creed, doesn't matter the sex. A lot of people don't want to do their job, and then a lot of people get coddled about doing their job. Okay, bear with me. So a lot of our drivers have to have designated trucks because some people like certain trucks. When you drive a car or any vehicle or you're in any confined space for longer than an hour your scent is in there whatever activity you're doing such as smoking or if you were eating and you leave the food or residence of food it's going to linger some people can't deal with smoke the smell of smoke i get it my dad used to smoke and then when i wasn't around a smoking person i could smell cigarette smoke I get it. I'm around people that smoke cigarettes. So like when they when they don't smoke, when I don't, I'm not around people that like, smoke, I can smell it. So I get it. Some people can't function that way. Some people don't want to drive with the windows down. I get that. You got some people that, that get comfortable in the position like, I need to do this. Oh, that's my truck. You're not a child. Let's go there. Not a child. So she got the email, I got the email, everybody got the email. The email was posted and taped on the on the desk and posted on the wall. On said wall, I had a cheat sheet. The lady that used to do the same supervising position that I have had created a cheat sheet. Okay? It's in black and white. That's all the information I need for the other drivers from other terminals that come to our terminal. And I can process their paperwork lickety split easy. Right? I have a sheet. It was not on the wall. Okay? She wasn't there. I couldn't question her. I left a note saying, hey, yo, we got to share the space. Don't be rude and throw things away. That's all I said. I didn't say you a bitch. I didn't say women don't deserve rights. None of that shit. I didn't say none of that. I said, y'all share the same workspace. Don't throw it though. And then I proceeded to put the same piece of paper, cheat sheet, back on the wall. Mind you, I don't have all the information because I haven't seen all the drivers. But what I do have and what I do know, I put on the wall. Okay? That's Monday. Okay? Today is Wednesday. I go to work on Tuesday night. Cross it up to Wednesday. I clocked in at 7.50 something, okay? Let's say 7.59, I clocked in. At 8.02, I'm in a full-fledged argument with a grown-ass fucking female about that was disrespectful. Bitch, shut the fuck up before I put you. This is what I don't get about women, especially black women. Y'all be putting men in danger and don't have to be. All because you don't want to shut the fuck up, okay? Mind you. She's already been told shut the fuck up by other people that work there because you talk too much, okay? You not, nobody's scared of y'all. Y'all not finna have a resolution. Y'all already been trying to be a murder by other cool races and cultures because of y'all fucking stupidity. 
And the biggest culprit is y'all. Look, take, take accountability, look in the mirror. We arguing because she says I have to clean up this area. I said, I don't mess up the area. Everything I use, I destroy. All my paper, all my notes, I throw away. Okay, I don't have to wipe that. I don't eat up there. I don't drink up there. So I don't have to come to mess. I've lived with people, especially women. You don't have to date, like a lot of y'all fake clean freaks. If a man is with you and he's non-messy, he makes his own cleans up after himself, you will never know. She don't know, you gone at 12, one o'clock. You don't come back to four. I leave at six. There are eight other people that be in that same space. You will never know I was the last person there. We arguing. It took care for me not to call her a bitch. I mean, well, I don't give a fuck no more. I hate this job. I'm about to go back to my old shit. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have a meeting with my with them. I don't want it no more. But I gotta deal with that shit. Then I gotta deal with grown men who don't wanna work. You 42. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Teddy. Kelly comedian. He has like four viral sound clips. That's the one was like, dude was like. You know, we want to go outside, do things. He's like, you 42. You got to be acting just to do to my job, 42. He be thinking, and he be thinking wrong. I said two weeks ago, I was going to stop calling him stupid to his face. I'm going to stop calling him dumb. Stop saying his mama should have swallowed him. I said that. I lied. I ain't going to hold you. I lied. Because this mother stupid, just dumb. Like, Wisconsin. All right, all right, here's the thing. You're 42, Okay. Hopefully you travel a little bit. Hopefully you have, at the minimum, a GED or a high school diploma. At minimum, education-wise, a GED and a high school diploma. I'm hoping. Okay, I'm hoping. How do you think something that's supposed to go to Iowa should go to the designated location of, of Wisconsin? Well, see, I was thinking, it's in the same direction. Shut up talking to me, bro. I got, I got a thing I do called making a door chart. So, door chart is, we're supposed to have static doors, but look, looking at how lazy a lot of my coworkers in and, and the time and the play, people doing their job and trucks coming in, trucks going out, that don't never happen. Not a problem, it's okay. So, with that being said, working. I'm like, all right, cool. Hey. This gonna be the new, let's say, Chicago door. This gonna be the new Kansas City door. All right, cool. Hey, I got you. You don't got me. You don't got me. You didn't write it down. You didn't take a note. You just said, okay. Cause you're on the phone, you can't, this is nothing. I, I don't know if, if it's jealousy or envy, but a lot of y'all, a lot of dudes be on the phone at night from <laughs> the nighttime to the sun. When the sun go down, the sun up with a, with a female. And just they just on the phone, we just on the phone. I can text, that's cool. But on the phone, can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. I'm working. I'm one. I'm working. Number two, I I really got like you. Like I ain't gonna lie. I'm busy ninety percent of the time. If I call and talk to you, I'm like the mother of my kids. Before the last two months, she called me and I pick up. She's important. She was important. So I pick up. And I got a couple female friends. Come, they're important. Pick up. We gonna talk. But I'm working, I'm working. Let me get my grind up. Okay? Now, if you don't know your job, and you don't know what you're doing, get off the phone. You're making me look bad. Okay, brother? You're making me look bad. Get off the phone. Damn it. I'm just, like, you, you not paying attention. Damn. When I say, all right, cool, I wrote it down, I hand you the sheet, here you go, we don't even gotta write nothing down, everything's right here. All right, you still going off the notes from two hours ago, I just gave you an updated cheat sheet. Why are you going to the old notes? Throw the old notes away. I should not tell you to throw the old notes away. You should know, hey, we ain't using it no more. All right, cool. I'm sick, I'm sick of this shit. I'm sick of it, man. I just, I, just, I literally was just like, today is just like, I was gonna cut them, I ain't gonna lie. Today, today, I was ready to go to jail. And I got, here's the problem, here's the problem with me being an, an adult now. Here's the biggest problem with me being an adult. I got bail money. I got it. On me. Okay, I'm responsible. Did you know 
that 46% of Americans do not have $500 for emergencies. $500 for emergencies. 46% of Americans don't have $500 for emergencies. Okay? I hit you, that's $200. Got that. Pick the credit card. I got two of them. I really got four. But pick two of them. Pick two. Of them. Stop fucking playing. Stop fucking playing with me. It's like I don't. I don't give folks, man. Like I, there's no need to be dangerous and aggressive. But y'all people wake up out of their sleep. You woke. You got out of bed with the mindset and the mentality was I'ma piss somebody up. What the? Freak is wrong with you? Oh my God! What is wrong with you? I can't do it. I can't do it, my friend. I can't do it. I can't do it. I don't want to do it. That's all I'm saying. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I'm at that level. And I don't want to. Today, today, today was the day. And I'm gonna get an email and a text message from my from my terminal manager today. What happened? Man, fuck you. That's 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 what happened. Y'all keep hiring. Y'all, we hired another person. Here's the thing too. Had another guy in his 50s. 50s. Another 50 year old in my job. I'm, my, I'm 40. Okay. Another dude's 42. Got a couple 30 year olds. 32 guys. It's 50. It's raining. Everybody needs hurt. Not mine. My knees hurt. Everybody needs hurt. When it rains, usually it looks like anything. When it rains and certain people are old, they body aches. I'm used to it. I've seen it done 101 times. Oh, look. Oh, man. I ain't never seen men slow, humble hop off work lift so much in my freaking life. Because they over the age of 50. Okay. 50. On top of that, everybody either smoke or drink. Smoke or drink. I don't understand. Like, don't nobody get DUI no more? Is that just, that's just, we just letting it? And then if you, if you get high, if you smoke weed, hey, look, I understand you feel that weed is a necessary protocol thing for your life, and that's cool. But you at work. You can't, if you can't be high and do your job, don't be high. I'm going to say it again, sort of slow people. If you cannot be high and still function, to do your job professionally, don't get high. Don't go outside and smoke on your break. Don't get high. Go home. Wait till you get off work. Wait till you, hey, wait till you clock out and you be like, I'm on my way home. Smoke on your way home. Don't smoke on your break. And don't be taking five, six, seven breaks to smoke weed. And here's the thing though. It's not, it's, it's not even a thing. It's not a melanated thing. This is a this is an everybody thing. I hate vapes. Say it right now. I hate vapes. God, y'all are so y'all are so this is like this is like generation now, generation then. Y'all are so fixated on I got to be high. You don't have to be. It's a choice. You're choosing it. You don't have to be. I just, today was the day. I admit I lost it. Again, I don't I don't get it. The money's not enough. The job I'm doing on paper is supposed to go from 50K to 55K for the year, right? That's what I'm supposed to make a year. I'm at 60 plus K a year. Don't hand clap. No, I don't, I don't want it. I don't want it. 60K a year. Sacrifices. Mind you, my daughters call me. My son called me. I'm still making sure they eat. I still make sure they need, hey, we need this for school. I'm making sure shit trips get made to Walmart, supplies are got. I don't feel so good. I'm making sure shit shake. That's the shit you hand clap for. Make sure that it happens. And doing 60K a year. I'm, in, I'm making family man money. Okay? The estimated value when I'm supposed to make is supposed to be $32,000 to $36,000 a year. I was at 30K in, in June. In June. I don't leave. I don't, I, I, I don't like my job. I don't, let me say it like this. I don't like my job. Now, here's the thing. I used to think that nobody liked the work. I don't mind working. 
actually I, pre I prefer to work because the more I'm working the more I can perceive I can work and create the next ideal and concept to create another venture or idea I don't mind doing that it's, it's part of that it's part of that ADHD shit everybody got some form of it and that's why okay when I know there's pressure on the line I know it's shit gotta get done like tonight like last night okay I have five hot hot flows that have to go out they had to go to certain locations. I set everything up. I didn't go in the office. When I went in the office, after I spazzed out, I did all my paperwork. All right, I made a plan. I got bills made, got everything done, bam, bam, bam. And that's how I'm gonna do it every day. I knew the pressure was on. You know, like, nobody was on my neck. I created the own pressure on myself to make sure that I put myself in the game. Now, I like that though. But guess what, everything got done. Everything got done. Everything was on, on schedule, on play. I'm like, cool. And I, and I keep it that way. Just, I'm sick of, I'm sick of the dumbness. I'm sick of the dumbness. The goal for me in the job was to get in and learn the game. That's what it is. Get in and learn the game. I was going to learn the logistics, how to operate, I was going to learn how to coordinate, and I'm doing it. I got, I got, I got a Caucasian man. I'm gonna say a Caucasian man that's literally running me the game every day. This is how I'm gonna run it. You can change it up how you want. And he, he said every day, change it up how you run it. Now, on Fridays, on this is a couple times of the week, I come in and he'll have a game plan. And he's like, he'll how, how he do this. I look at the roster. I put, I stick and move who, who I want to play, what position. I'm going to say it again. I stick and move who, who I want to play and put in the position. And then when I get done, he's just like, I like that. I like that. We're going to run your plan. And he was like, come back 20 minutes. And the plan he had, we're not using no more. The plan we working with, the plan I came up with. It's called trust. It's called I know you've been taking notes. I know you want to win. So this is what we're going to do. And that's what we've been doing. And that's how we've been running it. And, that, and, and that's how everything's been shaped lately. And I'm cool with it. I didn't ask to win. I didn't ask to be put in this game and win like this. But here we are. But, again, frustrated and pissed off. With the stupidity of people. Do your job, man. If you don't want, if you look, there are jobs out there. Go get one. You ain't gotta be here. I'll tell you about it. I I had Bob. I have a Bob in my job. And Bob is as Caucasian, old, and country as you can imagine. I literally, we literally look at him and laugh, think about the Bill Murray movie. What about Bob? It was uh Bill Murray and Richard Drivers, Richard Dreyfus, I think. It's an old 80s film. Look it up. Um <laughs> I told Bob, he was going around, he do too much. Hey, hey, the, she said this. I'm like, they can't count. Is it here? Is the weight right? Skin count right? I don't know it. But you weigh too much. Why are you letting that affect you? Okay? He went around, he was giving what, bad intel. I said, Bob, why are you telling me this? Well, I thought no one told you to think. I'm telling you, I, th this ain't a bad habit of mine, but it's a habit of mine. I got a habit of telling me, I'm not paying you to think. I don't need you to think. I need you to do. I need you to do what I need done. I don't need nothing else up out of you. This is the work assignments, and here's you. Bam. That's what I need. I don't need nothing else. The other day, I told him I'm sick of you. Because you caused me you're doing too much. You're sick of me? I'm going home. Go home. Friday. I woke up, and my hip hurt, and my knees hurt, but I came into work. And since you've been at work, you haven't done nothing. Go home. I have no problem telling people to go home. I don't. I don't have a problem telling you you are wasting time. You are wasting money. You are, you are, go away. Just go away. <laughs> go away. I just done this. Side note, I get why, why dudes, a lot of dudes need a woman in their life. I get it. Not she ain't got. Let me tell you about her, but she ain't got to be a good woman no more. You just need a her in your life. It's gonna help you function through the stupidity that's coming around in your life. You just need a her. 
if she's bad, you can focus on the toxicity and the negative communication, the non gratification of being appreciated and respected. And that's going to prepare you enough when you go to work to be a freaking animal. Okay. Boo, you do get you a good woman and she appreciates you. Now you have purpose. Now you have energy. Now you have motivation to go and deal with this dumb shit. And be an actual vital member of society. Who freaking knew that would work? Men need women. But I, like I said, I'm, I'm realizing, like, I understand why dudes don't like management. I said, black man, I got to double check my job every, all night. Three times. I don't like being questioned by women. <laughs> I don't like being questioned at all. But when women question me, I'm not going to lie. And I'm not being sexist or misogynistic. It's like, if you question me, make sure I'm wrong. Make sure I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, cool. I could deal with it. I've been told I was wrong my whole life. So I'm, I'm prepared. But now what I'm realizing, and this is going to shock a lot of people, I don't be wrong. I wake up with, I want to be wrong today. About people, places, things, all nouns. Pronouns too. And I'm not. <laughs> Go tell. I, I literally told this girl, like, hey, they're gonna do this. That's wrong. Alright, cool. I called, I didn't call my boss. I called the boss of bosses of the situation, the regional manager. Hey man, explain to me this, cause you told her this. I ain't tell her that. What I said was, I said, okay, cool. Basically, what you told is what I told her. But we're not gonna do it that way. I'm not gonna deal with this bitch. I mean a uh, person. <laughs> That's what I meant, though. That's like it is too, I, it, I don't want to say it's stress. I was saying I was depressed. It's not I'm depressed. I think I'm not coping well with decisions that I've made in my life. Here we go. I guess that can call it depression, but we're not going to call it depression. But anyways, I just had to get that off my chest. I feel better. I'm supposed to go by uh, Miss Simpson house today and drop off a unit. I will do it later. I am, I am tired. I am tired. <laughs> they warned me today. But relationships ain't really that hard. They just work. Some people never even signed up for the work. They signed up for the honeymoon, the romance, the sex, the attention, the pictures, the aesthetic, the look of a thing, but not the actual assignment. And that's why I says, men, we have to stay focused on the assignment, the work. God gave Adam a work before he gave him a wife. He gave him a wife to help him with the work. And the moment they took their eyes off the work, guess what happened? They were deceived. Oftentimes, we more caught up in eating fruit than bearing fruit. As a woman giving yourself to a man, if you are not concerned with whether or not this man knows his God-given assignment and whether or not he's trying to fulfill it, you're not concerned enough with what direction your life could be headed in because how you let somebody lead you and you don't know where they're going. And as a man, it's like a woman who cannot help you in your assignment is a woman that will only distract you from your assignment. And if you stay distracted, it is gravely going to affect either your relationship with God, your health, your prosperity, or all of the above. And someone who does not care about your well-being and your future being affected that way because you're not aligned, that's not your helpmate. That's the serpent that got Adam and Eve kicked out of the garden. What you're interested in will tell you what you're signed up for. Do you know what I believe though? I believe all freaky girls whores get like wiped up like that. Cause to me, a man might like a good girl. A man might like a girl got a lot going for herself. Successful woman, career woman. Or a woman that's real motherly to raise her kids. Or a woman that his mother approve of. But ain't nothing like that girl could suck that nut about you. What? The head hunter? That suck the dick without you asking? This nasty, nasty. And she always frying fucking breakfast sandwiches in the morning that she fuck you, suck you dry? That's the one you want. What? That's why I want some of these girls be in my comments and y'all so prudish. It's like, ew, people go with y'all. Like, you're so corny. You don't do that. I don't do Word. this. I don't do that. You got a list longer than what you don't do than what you do. Girl, get nasty.
That's why I don't call you big. <laughs> I don't know. We can move on because I don't get any dick and I'm okay with it. I'm getting to know myself. <laughs> I'm just working on myself. Love doing facials. What just, kind of facial you talking about? Not the good ones, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm so focused. Oh, yeah. I'm so focused. Playing with yourself. You know a lot. what I mean? I don't. Like, I'm in a bad spot. It's so crazy because I was such a sexual being a couple years ago. It's so crazy how your life can change. And I would constantly get on the internet and make fun of bitches like you that never get fucked. And now I'm amongst you. Incense burning, lonely ass, mm. self love ass bitches. <laughs> And I must say, I miss the toxicity in the penis knocking against my head every other day. Let's move on. I don't need no dick. Dick need me. Fuck him. Yeah.